Doug has finally been released inside of Brawl Stars and inside of today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys everything you guys need to know about Doug. Let's go. All right, so first off, let's go and talk about Doug's best build. All right, so first build, you guys are going to be using the extra mustard gadget, the self-service star power, and the damage and speed gears. So let's first off briefly talk about extra mustard. If you guys don't know what extra mustard is, the next attack only damages enemies but doubles the amount. Now, something that's also interesting about this gadget is that it doubles his supercharge rate. So if you manage to connect onto an enemy or multiple enemies, it will double how quickly you you charge your super but the reason i feel like this gadget is going to be so much better is because you need to be dealing more damage with doug so by using this gadget it's going to make it a lot easier for you to try and confirm more kills or to just try to do a little bit more damage and get people off your back he's going to really struggle against brawlers like assassins and tanks so this gadget is going to be a great way for him to try and at least stand his own ground in those kind of 1v1 situations now for his star power like i said you guys want to be using self-service if you guys don't know what self-service is snack attack also heals doug by 20 percent of the normal value now you can kind of think of this star power as like barley's medical use every time you attack you're going to be healing a percentage of the amount of damage that you do what's actually interesting about this star power as well is that it can actually be buffed by damage boosters for example 8-bit super so if you're standing in 8-bit super or you have the damage you're activated you're actually going to be healing much more this is going to be a great star power because even if you're not attacking or hitting anybody you can still use your attacks and use your ammo up to try and heal up i think that running this star power will just help you stay alive at least a little bit longer and the whole point of playing Doug is so that you can heal your teammates, right? So it's important that you can stay alive so you can make sure that your teammates stay alive as well. So if you guys run this star power, you guys will be gaining health no matter what you attack or even if you don't attack anything. All right, so for the gears, like I said, you guys want to be using speed and damage. Now, Doug doesn't really move the quickest inside of this game. So you guys want to be using the speed gear, especially since you're going to be wanting to play Doug on maps with a lot of bushes and walls. He doesn't have the longest attack range. So you're going to want to be hiding in those bushes or using walls to try and get closer to people. If you're running around in those bushes, you're going to be able to move and get closer to people a lot easier. Also, running the damage gear is going to be very important as well. Like I stated earlier, if you guys run the self-service star power, you can heal 20% of the normal damage that he deals. So if you have a damage gear activated as well, that counts technically, I guess, as like a damage booster. So every time you attack, you're going to be healing a little bit more. Also, obviously, damage gear is a very solid gear to have inside of Brawl Stars because you want to be dealing as much damage as you can. All right, so that's pretty much all I got for Doug's build. Let's go and talk about his best game mode. Alright, so the undisputed best game mode I think you guys should be playing Doug in is Duo Showdown. The reason that I believe Duo Showdown is going to be the best game mode for him is because of his super. If you know that your teammate is in a pickle or even if you know that you're about to die, you can go ahead and use your super and they'll go ahead and respawn with half of their health. I mean, this is very important inside of Showdown because in Showdown, you want to be staying alive until the very end. Also, since you're basically a healer, you want to be sticking near your teammate anyway and this is perfect in Duo Showdown. So as long as you are charging your super and connecting your super onto your yourself or onto your teammates you guys should be winning a lot of games because doug is going to be one of the best support brawlers to run inside a dual showdown now the next game mode i'm going to talk about here is brawl ball i feel like brawl ball is going to be a very decent game mode for him because think about it doug is kind of compared to like jackie right and one of jackie's best game modes is brawl ball brawl ball there's a lot of bushes a lot of walls and people are going to probably get closer to you more times than not mostly because they're going to try to stop you from scoring the ball or in case they're going to try to score the ball themselves so if you can keep your team alive by sticking close to them you guys should be winning a lot of games inside of brawl ball but okay that's all i got for doug's best game modes let's talk about his best tips and tricks now all right so yes i did talk about how doug is similar to jackie and i'm pretty sure you guys know that but something that's actually very unique to him is that the closer you are to enemies or to your teammates the more you'll damage or heal them so my advice to you guys is that if you guys are trying to take people down try to get as close to them as possible just so that the closer you are to them the more damage that you deal and the quicker you'll be able to get them down same thing goes for healing your teammates you guys want to be as close close to them as possible so that you can heal them for the most amount as you can now obviously Doug doesn't have a long range anyway so you guys just want to be sticking near your teammates as much as you can now what I would recommend for Doug super is that you use it on tanks or it doesn't have to necessarily be tanks but people that have a lot of HP you might as well want to try and use your super on tanks because if you use it on a brawler that has a lot of HP they'll heal for half of that HP so it's better to use it on say for example a sponge Frank compared to like a tick Frank is obviously going to be gaining more health and that tank when it spawns they can continue to apply that pressure this is also going to be helpful to use it on tanks because no matter how they died whatever ammo they had left they're going to also gain one extra bar of ammo so it'll make it even easier for them to continue to apply pressure now something that i want to preface is that you guys will need to be aware when you are respawning with doug super you are not going to be having an immunity shield or anything like that so you can instantly take damage when you come back now a great way to counter doug in this kind of situation is to just stay near the brawler that's respawning whether if it's doug's teammate or doug 
dog himself. Just stay near them and since they're gonna have no shield, you can go ahead and pop them down a lot quicker. And especially since they're only gonna be respawning with half their health, it should not be that difficult to get them down. However, if you wanna counter this counter with Doug, then all you guys need to do is that when your teammate is respawning, just stick near them as much as you can and just use up all of your bars of ammo so that you can heal them up. Granted, like I stated, half health is not that good, but it's, it could be worse, okay? So if you are near your teammates, go ahead and save your ammo and use all of your ammo to get them up to full HP if you can. Realistically, Doug is gonna be a very interesting brawler inside of the game and I am very excited to hear what you guys think about him in the comments down below. Well, anyway guys, I think that's gonna go ahead and conclude today's video. Mahalo nui loa, ahui ho, see you guys in the next one.